welcome to jmurrayathletics.com. This is our YouTube channel. I'm about to do a product review. Let's get to it. I have a supplement from Ninja Up. And this one was sent to us. Now, we actually had a couple sent to us. I have a nootropic and I have a protein collagen blend, which we are sitting on. Oh, here's the nootropic. I have it sitting here. It's going to be one of our reviews of the day. This lovely pile will be all videos you can find on J. Murray Athletics. This will probably be the first in the series of uploads coming up. Before I jump into this, a few things to note on the label is this is made in an FDA approved facility. It is made in the U.S. That's going to be a big plus for all you Americans out there. And it has the GMP stamp of approval. Flavor was on point. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Not the best, but certainly could have been a hell of a lot worse. So, that's a plus. Um, and before we jump into the ingredients, let's pause for a moment. Unpausing. <laughs> All right, so jumping into these ingredients, uh, L-citrulline mal malate. Uh, don't remember what the hell that did, but I know it's a BCAA, maybe even the EAA is something to look into. Uh, before I jump into this any further, I do want to note one very important thing. I am not a nutritionist. I don't even have my certification in coaching. So before you go and take my advice, make sure you're doing your own review you know, doing your own research, checking, you know, checking the information I'm providing you and making sure you check with your doctor and any PT, CPT, anyone, anyone who's not me, go check with them, make sure this stuff's good for you before you do that. Anyway, let's jump into this. Beta alanine. Now, uh, I don't know if I put any notes on beta alanine. I did not. However, beta alanine, I know is a must have in any pre-workout is going to boost your pre-workout. I just don't recall how. Uh, the betaine and hydros. I believe this is a creatine alternative. Let me real quick. Yep. So with this, it's going to retain water in the muscle, uh, much like creatine would. Uh, I don't know how long the effects last. I know creatine can last your whole lifetime. If you if you eat meat, you're getting creatine in your body. So. Taking a creatine supplement, like some people are like, oh, don't, don't, don't do creatine. It's like, get out of here. Get out of here. Been no proven research to say creatine is harmful. I'm pretty sure on that. Go, go double check that. Leave it in the comments. Go leave some hate in the comments. Hordenine HCL. Might be an I. But I put, a, I put an L in when I put it in. It came up, so... That I did take notes on. Hortonine stimulates nervous system but requires high doses and short-lived. That could be a hit or a miss, guys. Uh, however, that acts kind of like creatine, too. So I wonder if they're trying to get a creatine effect without using creatine in this. That is, that is curious. Um, going into the Ninja Intense Focus in crash Anti-Crash Matrix. Because you don't want to crash, guys. Crashing is bad. Ben, okay. That was probably a terrible impression. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, so we have, we do have some BCAAs, uh, uh, tyrosine and theanine, uh, both of which were recommended by Jim Stepani, J Dr. Jim Stepani, who is a bot professional bodybuilder. He has a video on what BCAAs and EAAs you need in your mix. Go check that out. Uh, I did have notes on the, uh, okay, so that, is it the corn beef cake? Yes. It's actually going to increase plasma levels. So that's going to be important for uh, any muscle growth. Um, if you're lifting, you want to have a good, good level of blood flow to get your uh, the proper amount of nutrients to the muscles so they can get that good pump and then get that good recovery afterwards. Uh, next on our list, now I'm gonna stand over here so I don't have to keep going. Anyway, fucking around. Fucking around too much. 
we have a Neurofactor coffee. I'm assuming that's just going to be energy. However, it, I heard people say that coffee does boost focus. So there might be something to that. Ooh, okay, here was the red flag. The, I'm going to call it M NMR for short, because it's a mouthful. But the N-methyl Tyramine. Yeah, you get the point. NM <laughs> NMR. All right. Uh, if you guys are doing any competitive sports where you have to be drug tested, this may come up as a red flag. It in itself is not a red flag. However, you need to be forewarned if you are competing. You don't want a John Jones incident where you're taking the Tatum supplements, you're going into a competition, and they tell you to get the fuck out because you can't compete. Um, we don't want that happening to you. So to ensure that does not happen to you, I have warned you. So the compound, I guess, uh, there's a compound in the uh, supplement that ends up... Uh, it, it, Similar chemicals, red flags in the test. You get the point. Oh, haperzine. Haperzine is a chemical that may improve ne oh, neurotransmitters, transmitter levels, improve memory, protect nerve cells, and could actually prevent Alzheimer's or help fight Alzheimer's. Not prevent Alzheimer's. We don't have anything to do with that. And God, I wish we did because my grandfather's suffering. Um, where was that? Oh, yes, Hooperzine A1. Uh, three milligrams. So it's really low dosage. Um, however, that's a really interesting one that they threw in there. I thought it was really exciting. Um, besides that, there is one other thing that I actually did not Google. I forgot to do that. Whoa, 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 cheese. I can't, I can't even pronounce the thing that says in parentheses. I'm not even going to bother trying. Good God. This, this is why I didn't probably look this up. I was using mouth voice to voice to search things to practice saying this. And let me tell you, I cannot pronounce that. Um, the last part of the matrix is the Ninja Up to Limited Energy Matrix, which has caffeine, infinergy, Dicaffeine, malate, 75% caffeine. And another big fancy word that I'm not even going to try pronouncing. Overall, I recommend this. If you are not competing, this is not going to hurt you. If you are a general lifter, this is probably going to be pretty good for you, actually. Highly recommend. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe for more from J. Murray Athletics. we got product reviews coming out soon. New videos every Thursday, hiking, jujitsu, all of it. Come join us.